All right guys, so I'm kind of doing a lot of things all at once right now, but I'm gonna make this video just for the, the skip shift eliminator. So this car is a six speed manual, and as many people know with the, uh, the six speed manual GM cars from, uh, from about the early 90s until current day, um, when you accelerate slowly, it'll take you from first directly to fourth, and it can be kind of a jerky exchange, and I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. I don't think anybody is a fan of that. So um, I'm going to do a pretty simple modification here. I'm going to replace the, uh, the CAGS solenoid. Um, we're going to put a skip shift eliminator in. So it'll never kick me from first to fourth again. I'll be able to go first to second whenever I please, which would be great. So came with this, you know, sign the RPM Act. I already have. But this is what we're working with here. Now this was like $12, I think. Got it from Michigan Motorsports on Amazon. As you can see, it's a pretty simple piece. So what we're going to do with this is, uh, where'd my light go? There it is. We're going to go onto that white connector with the blue, blue, uh, blue whatever thing, tab on it. We're going to unplug that, plug the white thing into this. No, plug the white thing into the black part, and then plug this white part into the transmission. And then we should have no more skip shift. So that should be pretty cool. So let's, uh, I'm going to try to reach up in there and see if I can do it. All right, so I have that white connector out. Unfortunately, the blue thing kind of popped off on me. Uh, what I did is I kind of reached up there with my hand from, uh, from this angle, and I was able to pop it out. So we're just going to plug, plug that piece into the new resistor and then plug that part in. All right, so we uh, got the skip shift eliminator installed up in there. You see that? Got the little harness on there. So it's, uh, I think it's ready to go. So pretty easy install, and uh, we'll see how it works.